Hello everybody, today is going to be the second part of the Tinker review, so yeah, let's get started. Now we are going to be talking about the part that everyone's probably kind of been waiting for, you know, the Minecraft set code. So, yeah, lots of code in Minecraft, I didn't know how, well Tinker is basically that. Now. I don't even know where to start because the first time I saw this it was kind of difficult but I'll try to do my best. This is like the dashboard section of the Minecraft area because you can go to all of these things. This is a video for for uh, the server that's on Tinker which will be another episode because you know it's also pretty good but today we'll be talking about um today we'll be talking about just kind of the overall not really pinpoint a certain place and so that's pretty much it this bottom part right here is the community minecraft project so if you want to see the projects for that then here it is oh that's really good right there so today we will be going through the design and texture pack part and then on the next episode we will be talking about the modding, uh, the server and that's pretty much it for, so it will be a two part minecraft section. So if you go here this will this is where your projects will be, and I don't have any because most of them were just kind of fails, so. Here we have your courses. They don't call it learning, they call it courses. So I'm going to kind of go through the ones so then you know which one to do. This one, these with the mod design and game design, and this one, these are all for Java Edition. Sadly, there's only two for two of the courses for PE, or Minecraft Pocket Edition, or Bug Rock, whatever you call it, which is kind of sad because, you know, we have so much stuff. It would be nice if you could do game design or something along the lines of that. So, I really wish that they could have more because this one is just about texture packs and stuff. So I don't really think it's the thing you want to know. Minecraft there's is really good for the one course it has. I did learn a lot about it because I was very confused. But it's reasoning why the why they only have two because Java is a lot easier to do stuff with. Well, uh, PE it uses a different system, so it's harder to do. These are the tutorials. Now, this is a whole different part. Basically, it, if you are not really sure where to start off on or something like that, you can do these tutorials. So, there's mod ink, so you can do all these mods for Java. And sadly, I'm pretty sure all of these are for Java edition so if you there I don't think there's a tutorial for that rock or PE so that's kind of similar but there is a lot of the it's a lot of these add-ons that you can do now I will be kind of comparing the two in the next video because I do have Minecraft um, I do have Minecraft at Rock Edition, so we will be testing out these, but right now we are going to look at the skin editor, the mob editor, and the item editor. The skin editor, it's not just for, oops, that can sometimes happen, happen if you click one, so be aware of that. You might want to reset just so, like, that doesn't happen. It was kind of a new... Thing. So here's the skin editor. 
Now, it doesn't really matter which editor you use for a skin. They do say, oh, this is for from Java and Windows, but I tried um, using the Windows skin editor, and the only real difference, oh, the only real difference between Java and the pop is that with Java you can make an outer skin here, so if you want to do that, but, and then for here you don't, but I use this one. It's a lot easier for me because with Tinker, the Java edition stuff, it's very old. It's not the up to date. Well, these are up to date. So, prefer, it, it depends on you, but I recommend using Windows if you're trying to make a skin and you don't really care about other layers because you get a lot more. So, Hmm, I will use some representation here. So, you click on one, and they have custom ones if you don't want to make one, they're defaults, but, you know, you, you have to be a little bit more creative. So, this is just a video, or that was just a video, to show you what to do if you're a bit confused. So, Using a mouse, if you use the scroller, it zooms in and zooms out. Uh, pressing down and moving your mouse cursor around will turn it around. So, say I'm wanting to use, I don't know. And we have the different colored palettes here. And this is scatter. So this kind of gives it a bit of a minecrafty look if you're trying to make something custom so this that scatter it just makes random colors basically of this one color so darker and lighter hues then there is color rays which i was a bit confused and didn't understand how it works so basically it takes the skin of say the steed and turns it to the closest color it can get. So see his face? So the darker colors will make the mouth and then the lighter colors will make the eye. So if you want to make a teal Steve skin, then you could and it still look like Steve. See, look, you can still see Steve and it looks like the Steve skin originally. That's the best way I can explain it, but it just makes it so it's kind of that color, except with that skin. Of course, there's normal, which just your plain thing type of color, nothing that. And then there's gradient, which is uh, it. Well, does gradient, which and gets darker down, and light at the top gets dark, dark and darker. I don't really know if you can see that because it's so much, so we're going to do that. Kind as you can see, gradient. This right here is um, the type you want to use. So if you want a large type, as you can see, that covers the whole arm. Medium, if you want just kind of half the arm. And then small, which is the original, which pixel to pixel. Um, if you're using gradient, if you're picking a color, you can pick a color that does the gradient too. It doesn't have to be the same color. So here, say I want it to be purple, and then on this color, I want it to be uh, wood. So it will do the gradient to that. See how it turns into purple and blue? But I think is very nice if you want to customize the eyedropper tool. Just I drop stuff, and you can get the same color. See, like that. Yellow turns into these eyedropper turns into these pants color. This is fill in, which um, the you have to click large if you want to do it because medium. Okay, so medium fill in is that large fill in. I'm pretty sure it's all. 
it's basically the same thing. thing. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, small, it just fills in a bit tinier, medium, I mean, and large kind of do the same thing. Oops. And finally, there's the erase tool because, of course, you want to erase. And large, if you want to just erase everything, the redo and undo button. And that's pretty much it for the skin editor. Um, doing the outer layer actually doesn't work. Work for this, you would have to actually get one. So, I mean, it won't change anything if you accidentally click it. This will show you what it kind of looks like in the world. I mean, it's not like actual Minecraft, but close enough, right? That's the skin editor for Windows. Once again, I really recommend using this one if you're trying to make a skin a lot easier, more up to date. But if you want an outer layer, then you can do that. We aren't saving that. That was awful. I know that took a while, but. It was a lot. It was very confusing to me. The next thing that we're going to do is this, the item editor. Now you might say, oh, I'll just use the same thing. But if you want to use one in your Java edition, which would be the Tinker server, then you would have to actually use the editor for Java edition. It wouldn't work. It couldn't do anything. But I'm pretty sure you can turn this into a texture pack in Java Edition for Windows 10. I have not tried it, but it's just an item editor. So we're going to use a dinosaur because, you know, make it all cool. So, um, basically, it's the same thing as the skin editor, just less stuff because, well, you don't, well, no, not really, it's not less stuff. Colorize tool makes it the same thing. Normal, scatter, more Minecraft like. Gradient. I don't really know why you use gradient on the tool, but you know, I, it doesn't really matter. And the large, thing, except you can do freehand, which means you can go outside, but what also if you want to add. It turns into the block because since it's the item, it turns into the kind of pixel shape, you know. And yeah, that's that. And the last, but not the last thing, but kind of the last thing because they're the same three. So we're going to skim over the block editor because, I mean, it's what you would think it is. It's the same thing as the skin editor, just this time it mirrors it. So instead of you, since the blocks are all the same on the side, instead of you having to do every single side, it will do it for you. Which is very nice because I don't like having to do the same thing over and over again. The final thing, and yes, these are all on the Windows 10 edition. Don't be mad at me. I will do Java edition. It's just old and outdated. Okay. So you can see all the new mods and stuff. Um, well, on here, it's not the new mods. And the cool thing about it, if you have Minecraft Education Edition, like me, you can even decorate the people in it. And yes, yeah, it will be doing something on Minecraft Education Edition. Because that's very cool. You see all these NCPs and scrolling down, you can see the agent. So, it's, it's, it's really the same thing. Um, it's not, it's like the skin editor, yes, with a a mob. So see this ravager? I probably need to use that large. Just kinda do the same thing. The one different thing is that you can make multiple lens 
but you might have seen some TikToks about how they did that in their world. And that's that so you can make a very headed Ravenger if you want to. You can delete stuff from the Ravenger which is really weird. And the best part I think about this, you can code it. So this basically is a video showing you how to do it. So you can code it, you can make it shoot fireballs at you, you can make it change the mob. It doesn't really matter. So you probably do really is you go to this say after being damaged, go to and let's make it explode. I don't know, like a creeper. And when you put it in your world, if you get close to it, it will explode. Or after damaging it, it will explode. So that's and that is the that rock or uh, Minecraft PE edition of Tinker. I feel like I did pretty good with that and stay safe. Have fun. Bye.